it's Friday, October 21st, and it must be time for another update from the North Carolina Medical Society. We've got three topics for you today. Two are highlight uh, cheat sheet uh, reviews from the bulletin this week, and then another one uh, related to the elections. Uh, all three of these are ways that you either have been involved or you can be involved, so we're focusing this week on making sure that you are taking action. Uh, the first thing is related to NC Tracks, and we've all lived through uh, the difficult times that when we transitioned to NC Tracks, and some of your peers uh, found that they had damages that they thought resulted in uh, a case worthy to take to the courts. And you'll remember that the trial court a while back said no, they didn't really have a case. But this week, the Court of Appeals, a three-judge panel of the North Carolina Court of Appeals, ruled that they thought there was something there for the trial court to look back at. So while this isn't a resolution for your peers that brought this action forward, it does keep them alive so that they can uh, look for these damages and try to make a case back before the trial court again to say that uh, something happened in their practice that they should be compensated for during that transition period. So more updates about that and more detail about that in this week's bulletin in your inbox. Second article in this week's bulletin was about uh, MACRA. And we've been talking about MACRA over and over and over again. The final rule that we've been referencing is finally beginning to come out. The big explanation is here. The takeaway is not the detail right now of what is in the MACRA rule that we're all going to have to learn and understand going forward, but the takeaway is that all of the work that you did to send us your concerns and all of the things that we sent up and that the AMA sent in, all of those have been listened to. We see positive changes in this rule as a result of physicians expressing their opinion and giving their feedback to the proposed rule earlier in the year. Now, you still have another chance to continue to give guidance and give advice or uh, give your opinion about the MACRA rule until early December. So go to the, uh, to the bulletin, look for the link in the bottom of that article, and you can go through and add in your comments if there is further detail that you would like to contribute or your office manager would like to contribute to that discussion. And then the last thing is yesterday was the beginning of early voting. So get out there and get it done. We've talked about where you get your ballot. We've talked about how you get educated on things. You should be ready now. Now's the time to go do it. Don't wait until November 8th and you have a medical emergency that you have to take care of someone and can't get to the voting booth. Go ahead and go get it done. All right? So that's it. Three quick things this week. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care.